with some breaking developments now coming in. Now, even as India as a nation continues to mourn the losses of our brave hearts who have been martyred in Anantnag, you still have reactions that are coming in from various valley leaders who continue to reiterate on the point that there should be talks between India and Pakistan. Look at the reaction that's coming in from NC Chief Farooq Abdullah, who once again, as I pointed out, has batted for talks between India and Pakistan. You have another reaction coming in from the Congress as well. This time around, you have Congress leader Sefuddin Sos, who's also gone on to say that India should take initiative as it is the bigger country. India should say that Pakistan is our companion and want to live in peace with them. Some reactions coming in. जब तक कोई रास्ता न ढूंढा जाए जिससे अमन आ सके लड़ाई से अमन नहीं आता है बातचीत से अमन आता है मुझसे बात नहीं करने से कोई फायदा नहीं है बातचीत करनी दो मुल्कों की है जिनमें यह फसाद है अगर आप ये दिखता है कि अंत हुआ है तब देख लीजिए आज जो ये हुआ है क्या ये दिखाता है कि आतंकवाद कम हुआ है मैं तो मैं इंटेलिजेंस में हूँ न मैं हुकूमत में न मैं ये इसका जवाब दे सकता हूँ वो आते कहाँ से मैं आ तो रहे हैं और फुली ट्रेंड आ रहे हैं आज वो बात रही नहीं मुझे तो ये भी डर लग रहा है कि कहीं ये गैर मुल्की किसी और मुल्क से तो नहीं है क्या आप ट्रेंड है मैं उंगली किसी की तरफ नहीं उठाना चाहता नॉर्मल सी का तस्वर उनका अलग है कश्मीर का अलग है इस सरजमीन में अभी खून बहता जा रहा है मासूम लोगों का ये इतने बड़े अफसर थे लेकिन मासूम थे इनोसेंट थे तो गोली का चलना है अभी और इन घरों में अभी जिस घर में जा रहा हूँ मैं इनका इतना चहेता बेटा यंग इंसान जिसको मैं इनके मैं बाप को भी जानता था तो इतना बड़ा नुकसान है और ये इसे सबक लेना चाहिए इस गवर्नमेंट को दिल्ली की गवर्नमेंट को कि कश्मीर में हालात अभी मामूल पर नहीं आए हैं और ये प्रोपागेंडा हो रहा है मामूल पर है so really unfortunate that various reactions that continue to come in from the valley still batting for talks between india and pakistan because if our viewers would remember that that encounter that has resulted in us losing one colonel one major and a deputy sp as well that encounter in fact is still on and we'll be connecting with our colleague ishan wani to try and understand the ground situation but the hunt is still under way for the terrorists as i pointed out that were involved in the encounter yesterday as i pointed out that resulted in the unfortunate death of a colonel a major and jnk deputy sp in kokarnag i believe our colleague ishan wani in fact is now joining us on the broadcast ishan before i get to the politics of the kind of reactions that are coming in from the valley that encounter is still on just about half an hour ago we could still hear shots being fired gunfire being heard in the background could you first help us understand what the ground situation looks like uh well yes uh, there has been uh, again a uh, gunfire from both the sides uh, we heard some sounds from the other side as well uh, it seems like the army has been able to along with the jnk police uh, to tap those down because police had earlier earlier said that uh, it's still happening around uh, the vicinity uh, that uzair uh, who is a local native of kukarnak is the one who is behind this particular incident and he has been the one uh, who is uh, with uh, other associates as well uh, there is still gunfire happening in the area this is the mountain where this entire uh, situation is unfolding uh, you might be also hearing this gunfire happening right now uh, the forces are trying to uh, target those who are hiding in these jungles uh, the main aim is to uh, flash out them uh, because they have been hiding in this vicinity they were uh, in a hideout which was busted yesterday and today now after taking charge of the situation and uh, making sure that they are, they have cordoned the entire area you can now hear Uh, the guns roaring around this village which was otherwise silent throughout the day after a lot of forces being deployed in the vicinity jnk police and the indian army climbing up there with additional troops being yesterday airlifted who are specialized in going into mountains from the mountain warfare 
and uh, they were deployed in this particular area to ensure that they are able to track these militants down. It will not be an easy operation given the fact that the cliffs are hard yeah. and then there's a dense forest cover as well at certain points of this mountain. Uh, so yes, they will have to take care of uh, not taking any additional casualties. As the army took yesterday, two officers including Colonel, um, a major and then uh, a JNK police's young uh, police officer also uh, you know, getting injured and later come into their injuries. Okay. Uh, we, I'll ask my campus also to show you the sort of deployment that's on this road. A uh, complete road has been sealed. Uh, the exit and entry points of this village are also closed. Uh, only those who are in um, in the emergency are being allowed to go. People are taking precaution coming out because uh, the gunfire is around uh, this particular location only. Uh, we have seen already that uh, the top officials from the army, including the 15th Corps commander, uh, the DGP of JNK Police and ADG Kashmir Range, uh, were also present yesterday on the ground to get a first-hand account of how the situation is unfolding. Okay. Uh, but yes, one has to see that how this transpires now, sure. uh, given the fact that uh, you know now the mountains are being used uh, to basically uh, you know attack and yeah. also to hide. Uh, in these dense forest areas. Yeah. Ishan, we'll just talk about the change possibly that we're seeing in the modus operandi, but I also want to talk about the kind of political reactions that are coming in from the valley leaders. Even as a country, we're still mourning the loss of our brave hearts, but you have leaders not just from the National Conference, but also from the Congress once again saying that talks in fact should happen between India and Pakistan. Doesn't this take a direct beating as far as the morale of our Jawans are concerned? Uh, well, yes, uh, you know, National Conference has been one such party where Farooq Abdullah has been advocating for talks. Uh, he believes that only talks can be a solution and that is why, we, you know, both the countries need to sit on a table and discuss all these issues. But India has made it clear when there is militancy, when there is militants coming in from the other side, there will not be any talks until and unless Pakistan does not stop sending them across and trying to, uh, you know, fuel unrest in Kashmir Valley, talks wouldn't happen. That's a clear stand that the government of India has at the moment. Uh, but at the same time, you know, people in the Congress, in the National Conference, and other regional political parties have always stood for talks with Pakistan. They have wanted to have talks, but at the same time, uh, the forces right now are engaged with this particular encounter, where uh, three officers have been have lost their lives while uh, trying to fight uh, those militants who are hiding inside this vicinity. Uh, remember, uh, you know, we have seen these statements coming in. This is not for the first time that Farooq Abdullah or any other leader has made these statements. Uh, many such leaders uh, from the Congress and also the National Conference have made such statements in the past as well. And they believe that talks can be the only solution. But as I said earlier, that India has made it clear that there can be uh, no talks till uh, the Pakistan does not start to stop sending all those who are trying to fuel unrest in Kashmir Valley. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, you know, focus is completely on uh, the operation right now. We also had uh, yesterday Congress, uh, Congress coming out and tweeting, uh, you know, f about uh, that uh, that uh, f uh, function that happened at the BJP headquarters yesterday in Delhi. Uh, that uh, while the nation uh, was uh, mourning the loss of life of uh, these Jawans, uh, at the same time, what was happening in the BJP, uh, you know, office was something which didn't go down well with the Congress party. How the politics of it unfolds, that's interesting to see. But as of now, the operation is on. Uh, the forces are on the ground. We are seeing the ambulances also going to the sure. area. Uh, and forces are being, uh, you know, sent to these mountain areas to make sure that those who are hiding in these mountains are flushed out. Okay, Ishan, we'll just request you to stay on with us. We also have our colleague Akash, who's now joining us on the broadcast. Akash, good morning. I want to talk to you specifically as far as the Pir Panjal area is concerned and the reason why these forests, in fact, are being used by the terrorists. Is it fair to say that the reason they're using them is because there is no way of encircling them fully? What are sources within the army telling you what is their uh, strategy going forward to try and tackle these concerns right uh, so as far as uh, this forest cover is concerned so uh, Ridima, you see as you rightly mentioned uh, you know not just uh, it is not possible to cover the entire area but also because we have connecting jungles so Correct. one jungle is ending then you have another jungle going going from the same direction and then uh, you know things like that other than that, when we talk about this particular area, particular range, so it is like we have thick vegetation in it. One can Akash, actually Akash, I just apologize for interrupting you. I'll just come back to you in just a bit. We want to take in some reactions as well. We, in fact, 